I think something is very wrong there. Here, no, I don't go inside me. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. What is going on? <laughs> what is happening? Hello guys and welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. Look at my cute little moon calves. Uh, shouldn't I make it nighttime for them, by the way, or something? Would, would that, wouldn't that make more sense? Um, oh, well, actually, let's see. Uh, what, what animal should I make what? Uh, I'm guessing both of my patrons are actually female. So I will pick a female animal for both of them. I know for a fact one of them is female because that's hero I play with. <laughs> Unless there's something I don't know about. Um, so so you, 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 I'm going to make into a hero. I don't know if she'll like becoming a little hairball thing, but I mean, oh well. So we go with a hero, the zero. Confirm. So this is Hero the Zero. Alright, cool. And uh, I guess we'll find a female bird. This one. No, it might not fit the person that much. Actually, maybe we make... But now I guess a red velvet kitty will be this one. Yeah. Rename. Uh, that would be better if it was actually red, you know, uh, considering there's red in the name, but it's okay. Red Velvet Kitty. Oh, oh, okay. I'm going to have to name it just uh, Velvet Kitty then. Velvet Kitty. There we go. Perfect. All right, nice. They're my two patrons at the time of this recording. Uh, just a quick thank you to both of them, and uh, let's move on. So I don't <laughs> wait, wait, waste too much time just uh, just being a noob at like YouTube stuff. Anyway, what do you want, Deke? What do you want me to do? I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom. Exactly. It will allow what? you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your oh, clothing. Oh, oh, this is what I've been wanting. More useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Okay, sure. <laughs> Love of the hair just stays there. <laughs> when I kind of go in and out of this room. Uh, I think it's interesting how they did this because it's clearly not in the same room. Like that is clearly like some kind of weird still image they have there behind like a small bit of grass. So I'm a bit interested to see like how how they do the transition because I'm guessing it just quickly loads the small area. Oh yeah, they identify gear. Let's see this first. Asylum mask. Uh, oh yeah, the, the stuff here. Another cape, okay. So, oh yeah, not this. First of all, uh, let's get you and... Do, 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 and get into your side. I don't really need that or use that at all. This is the one that all to say this this is the one I need. Okay. This one? Utility. Enchanting. I want it to look a little bit different than the actual of the disc, please. Like a weaving tool. Good thing I have this area over here. Uh let us wait, how do I Oh, you can't be angled in a weird way. Oh, boy. Can you? No. Oh, you can. Okay. Let's just do it like this, then.
Is, did I did I put it the right way around? I I sure hope so. Speaking of which, I should have got new furniture and everything, new tables too. Maybe not. Wait. Um. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay. I'm trying my best. That is a big table. Uh, chain size. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have this instead of that table over here. I am also gonna need the other spell now. Actually. God, God dang it. Why do I keep doing that? Uh, then we need you. Actually, no, I need the other one. Oh, yeah, now I need the, the other one again. Whoops. See, don't you worry about it. There we go. See, now we have a nicer table. Well, uh, it depends on, on how you view things. You know, it could also be uglier, but it happens. Nothing, nothing's perfect in life. Okay. Uh, so I need to go over here and do this. Uh, gear features one primary offense and defense stat by default. Magical materials can be used with a loom to add and upgrade a secondary stat or apply traits to your gear. Multiple small upgrades can give a meaningful boost in combat power. New beasts can be rescued at beast dens. Uh, unlocked in quests. New trait recipes can be unlocked. Okay. Uh, so since this already has a stat, can I can I take the upgrade from it? No. This damage with mandrake. View traits, so I can weave more traits. Ooh, that is surprisingly like huge. Increases damage of all spells. Concentration. Greatly decreases damage taken from goblins, dark mongrels. Greatly increases damage of all damage spells. Not bad. Can I also just kind of? Upgrade something? I think so. There's an example. That head I have. Uh, where is it? Oh, I can't do it with items that are like below purple. Well, that's not very nice. Increase damage taken from other things. Increase damage with Incendio, Defendo, Crucio. I don't even have that one. Greatly decrease damage taken from Goblins. Greatly decrease damage from Fairy. This one is something I want. I, mean, I, I guess the Quidditch Cape is the one I'm going to use, right? I was out of Hogwarts, so I might as well upgrade that one. Increased damage taken from trolls. Add a trait and upgrade one. This is my new outfit. So you know what? I'm actually going to upgrade this one. Uh, upgrade gear. But it's all oh, defense also sucks. So so how how does that even work? So defense is a stat I can't affect. Is that how it is? Really increase damage of all damage spells. Then also can't do what I want to do, right? Because then I can't upgrade everything the right way. And I'm still gonna have to use the cosmetics. God damn it! <laughs> no matter what I do, I have to use the cosmetic thing in the game. Uh, before I do anything, though, I want to see how I look. 
How does one look with uh with some things? Yeah, you know what? Let's just let's just make it so this one is not visible. I mean, I, I'm I'm forced to be using the cosmetics now if I want to look a specific way, without losing out on the traits up here. It was a little bit sad. Looks cool though. Prefer this one. Uh, you. How does this one look like? Ah, uh, you know what? Not that bad. Not exactly my go-to, but honestly, not bad at all. Well, I could probably wear that one. Let's take a look at the other one, too. We have these two, right? Oh. <laughs> I forgot. I actually have that stuff going on. So, I have you, which... Honestly, green fits more, but it is... It has, it has the weird split-up thing. And then we have the blue cape, which is... Um, has a little bit more flair. Can I get this one in green? Uh, it, you know, something I'm very confused about... Uh, that I've noticed thus far is why don't they have a color change option like where you can change color maybe we get that later uh, because I would really love to change the color of a lot of the clothes because I feel like I'm kind of stuck with the color they have and I don't think it fits my character half the time so it's, it's not the nicest thing in the world you know it's being stuck with a specific color Uh, 63. Let's just go with this one because, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of forced to use um, higher tier stuff. It doesn't really have the most useful item or trait slot, but oh well. I don't have a new one, right? Nope. Okay, if that is how it wants to play, then I shall indeed play with, I guess. Because why not? If I were to just make you visible, how would that actually look with the cape? Hmm, don't really like it much. Yeah, and I do have these options too. Um, this one f uh, okay throat this, this this one fits this uh, outfit quite well this one also fits this out outfit quite well now I'm tempted to change from the green one to something else like like, like the blue one here I mean it's pretty much the same outfit isn't it? it it is it's just blue Sure, why, 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 why not? This is the new outfit, I guess. No, the, the whole story was that she didn't like green, so she changed to the blue-ish brown. Uh, that's the story. And, and, and now we're in this outfit instead. There we go. Perfect. Same outfit again, but purplish. Yeah, this outfit I don't really like. A little bit, again, too much. I like the subtle ones a bit more. Okay, so I will use this cape. It's just... Oh, whoops. I, I will also change back to this one. And you become... Do, 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 you, right? Yeah, 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 there we go. Sorry that took so long, but uh, I kind of wanted to see what I could do there. Rune requirement. Ancient magic one. Upgrade your gear five times. Really? That, that's that's all I gotta do? 
sure I can upgrade my gear five times. So these are the items I've currently gotten on. I got it got on, right? So um, let me just quickly your traits decrease damage taken. Let's just increase the the whole damage thing. Of all spells, there we go. Uh, and the cape. Upgrade gear. Sure, why not? Upgrade gear again. And upgrade gear again. Fully upgraded. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Decrease damage taken from goblins. Yeah, I mean, upgrade gear. Why not? I have a lot of stuff to sell now, too. Uh, you are done there. Okay. That nice. Came out nicely. I should show Deke. I should show Deke, yes. Uh, before I go, though. Hello, my animal friends. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have anything, right? I see Hero the Zero is enjoying herself down there on the ground. What about uh, Velvet Kitty, huh? Right over there. Alright, cool. I should go out and get more creatures. Uh, I used the enchant enchanted loom, Deke. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. I do know them. Does the loom work with all clothing? Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Okay, thank you, Deke. Thank you for your help, Deke. I appreciate it. Good house elf. New quest available. Uh, astronomy class. Okay. Attend astronomy class. How nice. Exactly what I wanted. Uh, actually, I wanted to go down here. Because I, I could upgrade or, or get a new thingy, right? Ancient magic one. So I can use this one to upgrade now. So that's how they work. Okay. I understand. I understand. Well, this one's new. Meet me near the ruins of Felbarton Castle after dark. Do not tell anyone. Okay. Meet me near the ruins of Felbarton Castle after dark. Do not tell anyone. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Deke, actually. I, I appreciate that. Uh, I need to get one more potion. Let me just let me just get down here and get the stuff, and then be right out again. Wigan weld, maximum potion. Why not? There we go. Wigan weld and Wigan weld. I don't need mellow sweet. All right, time to leave now. Let us go meet Nettie at the bar something tower. A tower somewhere.
Okay, now where would that be at? That is not the right place. Oh, she's all the way over there? I don't think I've been over there. Oh, well, there are a couple of Merlin trials in the way that I can do. Uh, there's also astronomy class, which is actually right here. You know what? Let me test astronomy class first and then meet her. We can do one thing at a time. At this point, everyone owes the reputation to me. Main character syndrome is bad. Hello, students. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah, astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Oh, I've been up there. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. I think something is very wrong there. Here, no, I don't go inside me. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. What is going on? <laughs> what is happening? Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Oh, hello. I'm Amit. We met in potions class. I'm yeah, Amit. To report that we've yet to have any explosions in this class. Oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. I mean, I can't take your telescope. I can't do that, Amit. You might need it. No, really, you can. And I won't. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, uh, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards, and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Some reading. Revelio. Reading? Okay, sure. Uh, it is... Wait, how, how do I get over there? I have to go this way. Okay, I see. This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. Yeah, thank you for the telescope. Now, but how do I use it though? A pristine night for stargazing. I'm kind of letting it be wasted, but it's okay. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. 
I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes. What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Uh, and oh, and you'd like help to, to finding it, I'm and guessing? And you need someone to help you find it. I do. Are you it? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let yeah, I'm in. moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Sounds exciting. I'm in. <laughs> no need to convince it actually you. is. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? Indeed we shall. Let's go. Oh, okay. I'm not going there, I guess. All right, I mean, um... The castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards oh, I, I, I think I know what you're talking about. Were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. The ritual tables? Are those the ones you're talking about? Because if so, I actually know exactly mm, nice what you are a fellow they stargazer look. to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? I don't even if know where sure. we're supposed to go. <laughs> where do we go? In here? Hmm. I'm guessing in here. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. Cage bathtub. This bathtub has been kept behind lock and key for as long as anyone can remember. Rumor has it that the tub was enchanted to chase after students decades ago who were too obsessed with their studies to care much for personal hygiene. Aha. Uh -huh. So why not let it out just to see? Oh, there's a book over there I can get. A page, anyway. Uh, ooh, he's here, so I can't use my... My curse. <laughs> More cobwebs. Revelia. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Probably. Oh, no, not this close to the school Look, limit. There's a table. I think you should do the honors. Table? On, try it out. Well, how how do I use it? Do I just stand here? Oh. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. I think I see two small ones. Oh, I can zoom in and as I can zoom out. Okay, I see. Telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Uh, I found the position. Here we go. Perfect. Lyra. Or Lyra. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. <laughs> I have to say so. I look forward to that. Thank you, Emmett. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. You are? It's all in Dang. the code, really, gobbledygook. You're like an all-in-one dude. how you pronounce your R's. Um, anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Okay, cool. What an excellent broom. Thank you. That's a very nice guy. I like him. Find astronomy tables. 
All right, let's go and do one Merlin trial before we at least end the video. All right, let's go. Come on, fly fast. Okay, so uh, what is this one about? I, I wonder. Trial when I see one. When should I jump? It's so tricky after all, Merlin. Oh, okay. All right. As far as Merlin trials go, I think this has to be the easiest. And of course, with that, I do also have to end this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. Hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.